my goodness, this is awful! And here we go. Finally, we could put these behind us for another 27 years. And then the Philips ZDI-2 will come out. And then we will feel pain all over again. And, um... I guess I'm assuming most of the people around my age are in like 40s and 50s. And we'll have arthritis and all that. Anyway, welcome back to Zelda The Wand of Gamelon. Previously, I don't even remember. There's Door Dung Cave here. There was too many capes. There was weird faces again. This game loves his faces. This might be the faces of evil. I think they got the titles mixed up somehow. Yeah, the whole thing about uh, books and faces of evil in the last game, that's the one to gamble on. Where are we going again? Ah, oh, Dot of My Palace. This is where we're going again. Where spiders rule the world. And impas rule the world. Look how your father was captured. You are my prisoner. Hey! Silence! Hectan, keep the runt in chains. Yes, master. That's not her dad. Did he deflate and turn French? Also, what's with the uh, the wannabe Renfield? Now, we'll deal with that another time. There's a Ganon afoot. Also, watch the heck out of this area. It does not give you time to look at your lantern. Your magic lantern. That I got off a guy that looks like Squidward. He has a very bulbous nose. There's a, a terrible Zoras. I forgot about those for a second. Welcome to Dota My Palace, where everything hates you. These Gleok heads, just independent of each other. Thank goodness we have projectile weapons. We got the upgraded sword. We got the gold master sword. Somehow Zelda could use it. We could climb on that. And we're supposed to go in this door. And we can't go in these doors. Not yet, anyway. But this door looks open. Power Glove saves the day, yet again. Might as well grab the key that's in here. Guarded by spiders. That one right there. I tried to stab at it like other items in this game, and no, I just remembered you could pick those up. They're okay. Otherwise, you got a smart sword sap everything, and Impa somehow made it inside. Heck, ten is dangerous. Ready? Am I here? Or here? Or here? <laughs> Next. You were just in the same relative space over and over again. Well, the thanks for the the advice on Heck ten there, Impa. I'm pretty sure she had more to say. Heck ten is. Nope, he just uh, teleports. Yeah, he's, he's good at that. Also, hey, don't use items in front of doors. The doors don't like it. So yeah, Hectan is a master of uh, teleportation. Also, uh, he dropped the Renfield act in a hurry. I guess he wasn't getting paid enough for that. And that's why you don't fight guards without using a power glove. Art of Wall Masters. This area needed to bake a little bit more, because you could just skip this whole section by using rope. The heck with that section. Welcome to Hectan! Oh, Hectan murdered us! How'd that happen? I don't know how that happened. Power Glove. You've killed me! Good. I'm a little concerned for you now. I think she has a bloodless thing going on. Also, that was a legendary scene. Yeah, the Hectan just melts and Zelda's okay with that. I too am honestly glad he is dead. Duke Onclid betrayed the king! I know. Strike the head of the portrait to enter Onclid's chamber. Thanks. Okay, thanks for the world's fastest exposition. Also, Zelda somehow knew that Duke Gonclid was a traitor this whole time. I'm not quite sure how she sussed out that information. 
Dugakma is a traitor. He helped get the king kidnapped. We're gonna have to find him and, I don't know, beat him up or something. Unfortunately, you can't cheese out this area the other way around. You can't do a rope downwards. They did think ahead a little bit. But we got the key off of, uh... The knockoff Musketeer. So you go into this area. Both of those doors lead to the same room. It doesn't matter which one you enter. Well, there's the hint that we got off the Musketeer. There's a key in his painting. He has a Socrates beard. And now he doesn't. He stole the king's crown. D don't hurt me, Zelda. I'll tell you the secret way into Resong Palace. You better talk fast. Go all the way left and move the rock. This key opens the gate. I'll make sure he doesn't get away. Thanks, knockoff musketeer. At least somebody's useful in this game. And that was Dota My Palace. We don't need to go back there ever again. The Musketeer is going to keep everything under wraps for us. He's the real hero of this game. We're going to move on to the Nokani Forest. Murders Wolf Moblins. Are they Rat Moblins? I'm not even sure. And those totally not Arpagos. They're like Pterodactyls. Where is Ganon getting the dinosaurs from? Also, this is a wide open forest, but for some reason, it's pitch dark in here. You might think, that, well, duh, did you ever hear of like the, the, the deep Amazon where it's dark all the time? The dark continent in Africa? But there's, there's clearly light seeping through the branches of these trees. It shouldn't be this dark in here, but it is. Especially here. I'm pretty sure it's dark here. If you don't use the lantern. You know, for some reason. And there's another one of these ladies here. This light will penetrate the dark around Ganon. But only the wand can defeat him. Good luck! Only Link could defeat him. Only the Master Sword could defeat him. Only the book could defeat him. Only the wand can defeat him. Something tells me there's a lot of peckin' things that can defeat Ganon. You can probably poke him with a pillow and kill him. But we have, uh, the Fairy Lantern now. I think all those weird ladies, the, the short stout ones with the weird buck teeth, I think they're supposed to be great fairies. So that's where they're hiding. They're staying far away from, uh, what, what was that other place? Uh, I forgot the name of it already. Koridai. Yeah, that, that stupid place. So, only... The wand, on this island at least, could defeat Ganon. But... We're gonna go elsewhere. Like the Shrine of Gamelon. I was looking in the wrong place on my notes and I thought I had to go other places. No, we're kinda on rails now. There's only a couple levels left. Oh dear, Omfak is guarding the shrine. Whatever I see, I shall devour. That's disturbing and kind of personal. I'm gonna have to kill this guy on principle. They're not happy with ripping off Zelda, they're also going to be ripping off Donkey Kong. This whole area is a Donkey Kong level. You gotta avoid the burning barrels, or you'll take a half heart of damage for doing so. And then you'll be attacked by enemies as you do it. You know, I don't remember seeing an ice-based item in this game, or did I just take that out of memory? Stop that. These barrels actually attack you. I was waiting for a gap. A gap never happened. You know, I just might as well rush through this place. Bum rush it. Those murals don't mean anything. Just get to the heck of the top of this mountain and don't die to fire. So we could fight uh, this jerk. I forget his name. He's got bullets. He's only weak in a certain form, though, and you could use either bombs or the power glove on him. 
If you're too close to him while he has the lion head, he will shoot fire at you and do a lot of damage. Otherwise, you just gotta wait this guy out. Until he does that. Got him! I knew it! It was seagulls all along. And that gets us the Wand of Gamelon. He's only weak to a headshot when he's mouth. Because, you know, that's an animal. Couldn't have been like a, a hippo or something else that eats, even though lions and wolves are known to do that too. There's one last place to go. Resong Palace. We have the Wand of Gamelon. We have run out of patience. And this game has run out of time gonna have to follow along with these things and not get caught on a ladder. Just take us it nice and easy. Don't get killed by the bats. Only kill the bats. I thought that would be a place to enter because you know this game by now. It's wacky. Where'd you come from? It's too dark to see Ganon, but the Triforce says you can only win by falling. I wonder what that means. It means even the Triforce thinks the only way to win this game is not to play it. So now it's being cryptic for some reason, even though it gave us flat answers before. But it meant that the Fairy Lantern will allow you to see these enemies. If you don't have it, all these enemies are going to be invisible and you could probably get killed by them. Very easily. Still don't know what the flute does. I never used the flute in this game and I finished it. I think it's just a jape item. They're known to do that. I don't even know where I'm going now. It's all dark in here. Why doesn't the fairy lantern just to keep the things lit? It's supposed to be like fairy vision or something. I want to go down that ladder. That's one way to do it. Trick here. Only the face that has the key will die. The rest of the faces will not. And you can only kill them with the power we love, I think. I have a theory about the flute. Does it stop enemies from spawning? Let's see. Kinda. They're frozen in place now. It's a time freeze flute. Doesn't last too long though, but that was the face you have to kill. At least we know what the flute could do now. Typical Ganon dungeon in this game. Only a few rooms with enemies in them. And people are knocking around in the kitchen after midnight, way after midnight. Get which room I have to enter here. Let me take a look at my notes real quick. Well, it's not that house. Well, the Triforce says the only way you could win is by throwing this game down a well. And there's a well right there. Kind of trend to the right while you're going down here. Good thing you have infinite lives, because rocks hurt. See what I mean? We needed to go up that ladder. something in here I want. Yeah, that key. That's exactly what I wanted. And the way you go out is the same way you come in. I'm trying to fall through that gap. It wasn't working in my favor. There's a grate down at the bottom of the well. I'm not quite sure why they put a grate at the bottom of the well, but there is one. Maybe this was a lake at one time. But, you know, Ganon dried it up because he just hates lakes. Look, I don't want to use the lamp anymore. The lamp is just busy work. I'll do this blindly. These guys are just like infinite money. If you could tolerate all the enemies coming at you, that guy's infinite money. Not like you need infinite money because you saw how quickly I topped off on items. But, uh, I don't know, if you're playing the original, where it's a lot harder because the game plays terribly, I'm gonna keep on mentioning that. This remake, this remaster thing, actually makes this game kind of tolerable to play. 
Otherwise, you'd be going at like five frames a second for everything. And we need the key for this room. You dare bring light to my lair? You must die! Nope, Zelda's dead. Here's a Ganon. Even if you block his shots, he will still kill you with fireballs. So throw a wand at him. Ah, the chains! No! You haven't seen the last of me! A again with that book! He knows how to get out of that book! You might as well, I don't know, summon the Spanish Inquisition on him. The comfy chair! No! It burns! Everybody knows only the comfy chair could defeat Ganon. Someone want to explain to me this, right there? Why am I knocking my head against that? That room was kind of pointless, if you ask me, but okay. You really needed to settle down after defeating Ganon. And there's our king! Wow, he really needed that dinner after all. Father! You saved me! Here's the traitor, your majesty! Please, your omnipotence, have mercy! After you've scrubbed all the floors in Hyrule, then we can talk about mercy. Take him away! Yes, my liege. I wonder what happened to Link. Oh, he was a four anyway. Stop looking at yourself. What happened? Wait, what was that in the plot? Nothing, Link. We were just about to have a feast. Great! <laughs> <laughs> this game is just full of amazing faces. Finally, that game is over. And in under 20 minutes. Could somebody, uh, please put Link back in the, the hand mirror? I just don't want to see Link anymore. That Link. That particular Link. He needs to go. Once again, these are the people to blame for both the remaster and the original version. They were produced in tandem, more or less. Released as a group. Like a Pokemon game, or Ages and Seasons. There's a third one by Philips, part of that whole deal that they had with Nintendo, but that was made by a different company, and it is so bad that the remasterers didn't even want to touch it. So hopefully that one stays buried for the rest of time. It was called Zelda's Adventure. And if you think these games are bad, just imagine how bad Zelda's Adventure had to be. Thankfully, if you uh, finish this in hero mode, I can't believe I said thankfully. If you finish this game in hero mode, you get the ability to don't copy the game. Don't do it. You get the ability to play as the king. It's a custom thing the remaster is did. He has his own sprite. He has his own attack animation. And also uh, Link the Faces of Evil, you could also play as him. But it's uh, every cutscene that you activate with the king plays like Link or Zelda is there. They didn't go that far. They didn't expend that much effort. But finally, your penance is over. You get to enjoy the rest of 2020. What's left of it? Like, how much? Let me look at the calendar real quick. A week and a half? You could breathe easy. I will be doing a Longest Night stream on Longest Night for once, because I got actually got that day off. We'll be doing some Noida. And then I'll take about a week break. And around the end of the year, we could start... It was a toss-up between Knit Underground and Live Alive. I think I'm going to go with Live Alive, because I played it recently. And... It's very interesting because it's a bunch of like mini RPGs instead of like one big one. So that should be pretty fun. So this was Wand of Gamelon. These were the two worst Zelda games in existence. And I was Armored Chocobo. Good night, folks.